Hello 212 students. Today I'm going to show you how you can take an Excel file or a CSV file full of latitude and longitude point coordinates and convert them into a layer that can be displayed on the map. Um, in order to do this, let's create a new map in the same project first. So we'll go to insert and then we'll just click on new map here and choose the map. All right, so this will create a new blank map where we can put our points on. Um, you'll notice that you can switch between the two maps right here and you can rename it. We'll just call this one flat long map. Okay. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna bring the file with the points into the program. To do this, we're gonna to go to add data and we're gonna to go to the X drive right here, and then we're gonna go to the 212 folder where the data is saved, 212 spring 2020, go to sample data, and we're gonna choose the CSV file this time. Click OK, and you'll notice that on your content pane, a file appears, but nothing is on the map yet. That's because it's just a table, a non-spatial ta table full of data. We can right click on it and open it similar to an attribute table and see that there's rows with all these points. We got an X point and a Y point. Now what we can do is we can either go to add data here and go to X, Y point data, or more easily, we can right click on this table in the content pane and go to display X, Y data. The reason why this is more easy is because it will fill in some of the things in the pane, the geoprocessing pane over here. So this pane's pretty simple. First, you need to tell it which uh, table we're gonna be doing this for. Since this is the only table, it is the only option. Right here, after this slash right here is the name of what the, the layer will be called. The rest is just the path of where it will be saved. We're gonna call it points table. Okay, no spaces here, by the way. All right, so now we need to, with this open again, Tell it which column's gonna be the X and which is gonna be the Y. It figured it out for itself this time, but just know that these might have to be calibrated. You might have to like say which column has those data points. There is no Z field because we don't have any elevation data. Lastly, you need to tell it what coordinate system to use. If you have a bunch of numbers here, like Teresa was talking about in class, that are in UTM, or in other words, meters, then you have to change to be in the proper coordinate system. But since it's latitude and longitude, the GCS WGS 1984 is appropriate and it will put the points in the right location. So now we're just gonna click run and it is going to basically find each row, put this as its latitude, or excuse me, longitude, and this as its latitude, and look at that. It's a bunch of points located at BYU campus. Okay, so pretty simple, and you'll notice that the layer appears on our content pane now. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us, and we'll be happy to help you out.